Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Up right in corner we have Striker starting as the Blue Zerg. Bottom left in corner we have Tenderization starting as the Mustard Green Terran. This is on Eclipse. And Tenderization having a rough game one, which... Honestly, no offense to him, it's just Striker's incredible. I think that's really what it comes down to. Striker's just really, really, really good. Hawk. That was the other player one. I... That, that was the player I didn't want to get distracted by in game one. I didn't want to be, go on like, oh, Hawk versus Striker. I feel like Hawk and Striker... <clears throat> Hawk won the North American Continental Championship, so he is the number one Zerg in the United States currently. That's the title I have to grant. Striker, though, I do not feel like he's that far behind. Both these guys uh, in convention for number one, number two Zerg on a pretty regular basis. Striker, I feel like, is the more aggressive of the two of them. But <clears throat> both those guys, really scary players. In all evaluations, again, yeah, I think I have to maybe favor Striker, actually, maybe to take this entire thing. Since Jayun has switched off Zerg himself and gotten out of the best Zerg in the United States contest. Supply Depot being built for Tenderization along that edge. But Tenderization's an awesome guy, so <clears throat> gonna root for him in this one. So Tenderization has my heart. The Tender Heart. There we go. Tender Heart. But uh, I do believe Striker... He's a stronger player. Looks like an overpool to play safe on Eclipse, just in case. Tenderization building that barracks inside base, however, rather than doing anything too crazy. After game, I really do want to see uh, maybe some different build order or attempt. Tenderization going for the two racks academy opener, and I just do not think that cuts it against Striker. Even, even at a higher level with players that <clears throat> of an extremely high caliber. He just is really good at shredding Terran who are trying to play uh, that standard build apart. SAV crossing that Overlord, gets eyes on it, is going to be able to walk up and confirm. Should be able to confirm based on the morphology. Is that the right term here? The status? The gestation. The gestation of the hatchery and that it's in the lower gestation point, that it is in fact an overpool rather than a 12th hatchery. Gonna be able to wander up and confirm that gas timing, which I think was around like 205. So pretty standard gas timing right there. A slew of Zerglings. A slew, I guess in this instance, being four. Being produced to go ahead and chase Tenderization away. Tenderization grabbing his command center behind this. Has got a single Marine. But needs to be a little bit wary because if these Zerglings make a beeline for the front, that is four Zerglings potentially against only two Marines. So SCVs would need to be pulled to aid in the defense. The Zergling's currently just chasing this SCV down. Let's see if this SCV is just going to hightail it and lead them right. So yeah, some SCVs pulling off the line to help defend, but they are going to need to come down to help defend that command center. So yeah, now making their way down to create that blockade. An SCV losing its life for the effort. And Striker going to go ahead and pull back. So free win. Gets the SCV, gets some delayed mining time. Poking in actually wants additional kills. I thought he was just going to take the win and back out. But no, gets the SEV that was building the command center as well. And that wasn't speed upgraded and swings around. Almost gets right on top of the Marines. Is pressing that. Does get a Marine kill on both Marine kills. And the two Zerglings now going to snicker their way out. Reminds me of the old meme with the kick kick kick. Did a lot of damage there to start. Tenderization still holding the... SCV's back just in case they're gonna end back around or more. Zerglings were on the way. Lair's already three-fourths of the way finished. And the Zerglings, yeah, look at that. Four kills. When you get four kills off your... And that, that might even be... Not even be the uh, full total here. Because keep in mind there are two other Zerglings there. Second Barracks in play. No gas as of yet for Tenderization. And I think he's a little bit flustered here and dropping parts of his build order because, yeah, a little bit later refinery. I think that's going to end up being a later academy as well. <clears throat> There's the academy plopping down. Striker grabbing that second gas, which leads me to believe he is going to go Mutilus Heavy once again. Grabbing the 12 o'clock base this time, which is a little bit closer. Easier reinforcement point to defend. Four Marines gather up now near that command center <clears throat> starting to fill in those ranks but initially yeah a lot of especially getting that sort of kill and some of that economic damage early it it snowballs like if you the earlier you can do damage to your opponent of that kind the larger it, the impact it has in the overall game 
because that's one less SCV that could have had a you know handful more minerals that could have been another SCV, you know, so on and so forth. The avalanche of small advantages. Engineering bay in production stim also being upgraded. Spire just about finished, so that engineering bay should be in time. This is going to be, it looks like, five mutalisks initially. I have a feeling there are going to be those continuation mutalisks. Once again, to go up to that full complement and potentially plus one weapons to follow it up. So yeah, at least six to start with the initial larva and plus one weapons upgrading with what's left. Tenderization again walking out. Let's see if he can be a little bit more diligent this time with that stim, which actually is not... So wow. This is very brave. So he's moving out before stim is finished. And a little bit distance from his medics. Again, I think he's just hoping to get further afield and maybe catch Striker off guard. Kind of like the concept. We'll see if it pays off. But right now he's marching in a line and just getting oof, a lot of those Marines obliterated. Got some damage done on the Munalists. The Munalists do have to respect this threat. Still more Munalists in production. And right now, yeah, with seven Munalists, they very nearly number the Marines. More Marines getting picked off. Ooh, and getting pulled away from the medics. Reinforcements coming in, but that's a lot of dead, yeah. A lot of dead Marines and not, yeah, now you can see he's like positioning to try to pull back. Bit of a misfire right there. One Mutalist is at least getting taken out. But once again, Medic stimming with that stim. The Medic's not having a lot of energy to follow this up, so Striker taking advantage and is going to wipe out the rest of this attack force. And I don't think this is, yeah, it's not the tenderization is bad with the mutilus, or with the uh, marine micro, it's that striker is just brutal with his mutilus positioning in micro and just having such a threat. There are turrets in place, but only four marines currently to go ahead and defend that. No move towards, so third gas is up, no move towards hive as of yet. <clears throat> But Tenderization just going to GG after all of his Marines die, just get obliterated on the front. And he's left with no defenses and only turrets to defend. Striker taking game two in a very convincing fashion. And yeah, expect to see more of the same as a tear through the winner's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, thank you for listening.